Hey gamers, Skippy from Adult Gaming here. News today absolutely blew my mind. I did not see this coming. I had no idea where this was coming. Didn't even know the company wasn't doing very poorly. But the Telltale Games, the, the company that distributes Seven Days to Die on PS4 and Xbox, pretty much shut its doors down today. If we look at a tweet here, if we go to their, their website, Telltale Games, we go look at a tweet. Today, Telltale Games made this difficult decision to begin a majority studio closure following a year marked by insurmountable challenges. Uh, so whatever that means. A majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfill the company's obligations to its boards and partners. Of course. The CEO, Pete Hawley, issued the following statement. It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale, as we work to set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback, but ultimately, that did not translate to sales. With a heavy heart, we watched our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. Telltale will issue further comments regarding its product portfolio in the coming weeks. So guys, this 25 people they kept on is to finish off the Walking Dead episode 2. I think it is, or whatever Walking Dead they're working on the final season. They also mention in different articles and whatnot, there's there's news all over the place. So um, trying to get this all together is just really confusing. This is like, this came out of absolutely fucking nowhere. But they said they're just pretty much keeping the 25 people on to wrap up that one last production. That's it. So rest in peace, Seven Days to Die on console. Uh, they did have Iron Galaxy working on it, and I'm not sure if Iron Galaxy was part of the people they let go or if it was like maybe a whole other team separately. I don't know how that works, but the way I'm looking at it is Telltale distributes Seven Days to Die. If the person that distributes the game shuts down, there is no fucking game. So if the Fun Pimps turn around and even sell this to a different company or, or they do something else... Guys, we're looking at pretty much, I think, the last nail in the coffin for console seven days to die. If another dev picks this sucker up, they're going to be picking up bits and pieces of what is the console version. Uh, they do have the, the stable version right now, but we were so close to having a newly released version at the end of this year. And then all of a sudden, Telltale just puts up their arms and says, we're out, peace, and gives everybody the middle finger. Oh, the blue. Wow, I know I sound a little bit upset right now, and I'm still try I'm trying to keep calm. I'm trying not to, to freak out here, and you know I hope you guys do the do the same. Uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of nasty comments down in the comments below, but try to keep it civil, guys. We'll, we'll try to keep an adult discussion here. What does this mean for seven days on console? I mean, I kind of feel like Prevar console and I have waited so long already for an update, and then a few months ahead of when we were supposed to get the update the distribution company just ups and takes off. So, ouch. All I have to say is ouch. Fun pimps, you made a mistake. Not only did you just not try to make your own division to develop the console, you sold it to a company that was going under. I know that's probably not their fault, and that's not something they knew or would be privy to information on, but that's what happened, right? Maybe they'll learn a lesson. Maybe other developers will learn a lesson from this. If you're going to port to console, do it your fucking self. Period. If you're not there where you can port it to console yourself, then don't do it. I think I think that's what comes out of this, guys. Um, so I also went to the Seven Days of Die forums, and um, there is literally no news on it yet. So I'm sure the fun pimps are just learning about this too. I'm sure they didn't know a few weeks ago that Telltale was shutting down. This isn't something they tell people, clients, weeks in advance. This is something they announce the day that they lay off all the people. And that's horrible. There's like, I think, 250 people, they said, in the studio, and they're only keeping 25. So 225 people just lost their jobs if I skippy math, right? Which really sucks. Uh, but that means there's going to be a lot of uh, talent out in the industry. But I don't know what to think here, guys. I'm very worried about the future of Seven Days to Die. Not only on PC now, but especially on console. So, I don't know. I'm, my arms are kind of up in the air right now. Like, what do I do as a content creator? Do I just walk away from Seven Days to Die because it just keeps burning me? 
or do do I stick with it and hope they kind of get their act together? What should I do, guys? Let me know down in the comments. I know I've gone on um, a little long about this, but there's not really much more to go over it right now. Uh, so please, guys, just let me know down in the comments. Come over to my Discord. The link is in the, the chat. Go over to the uh, 7 Days to Die console uh, category on it and talk away. Uh, stay civil, though. We are still adults, and we, do, uh, we can debate and we can disagree uh, as long as we do it in a civil way. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. Go and have myself a couple breaths, maybe roll one up, and uh, get this video released. I cannot express how disappointed I am, period, in this. Anyways, guys, I hope, I hope something good comes out of this. I really do. Anyways, I'll see you on the other side here, guys. Stay classy. Always back up them game saves. And fuck you, Telltale.